Hi everyone, back again, and I'm going to share with you today on Stamping 101 um, some tools, supplies that you can use for stamping and to help you. Okay, first of all, let's talk about acetone. It has to be pure acetone. You don't want nail polish that has any kind of conditioning agents in it because it's just going to smear your plates all up because it has oils in it. So pure acetone to clean your plates, your stamper, your scraper. Okay? Next, let's talk about what you're going to use to actually clean off your stamping plates between each stamp or whatever. Um, a lot of people just use lint-free wipes. I like to use little squares of lint-free wipes. I don't use cotton um, cotton balls because it just leaves fuzz all over and you don't want to stamp fuzz balls, little fuzz hairs into your nails, in your nail design. So stay away from cotton balls. Um, this is another technique that I've seen a lot of girls using on YouTube. It's just a little chip clip and um, a section of paper towel folded over and used this way because they don't want to get acetone on their painted nails. Play it like this to clean the plate. And then a little pressure and that's it. Um, you can just use the lint free wipes and use the pads of your finger like that. Scrapers! Yes! Look at all my scrapers. I have a ton of scrapers here. Um, these are metal scrapers. They have the piece of metal right here. Um, this is another scraper here that is just um, a, just a plastic like a credit card type. I don't like any of those sta scrapers right there. I don't use any of those. I just use a old credit card or an old gift card. Um, you can clean the edges with acetone and it just it just works better. I can bend it better. I get a better scrape. These um, a lot of people don't like these metal ones because they say they scratch up their plates. I really don't care about that so much is if my plates get scratched because it's the indentation that you really are going to use anyways. The plate, you know, the, the image anyway. So, I mean, that's just for cosmetic reasons that people don't like to use a metal scraper. I just don't think they scrape good enough. I don't think they scrape the image good. The same with these plastic ones. I just I just don't think they do a good job. I just rather use a credit card. I can really bend it and it works for me. I've got several different little stampers here that I've got in by ordering just different plates. And I I don't like any of those stampers either. What I use is a double-ended real Conad stamper. It has a small end here in case you want to pick up small little images for your nails. And it has a bigger um, and right here and it's not overly soft it's just it's just right and it's not sticky some of these are kind of sticky this one was from CC and it's kind of sticky and really squishy and it was shiny and what I learned from Janice from Love and Beauty and Style is that if it's shiny and it won't pick up an image what you need to do is you need to take a fine grit file this is actually a 240 you need to come in and lightly file that shine off and then that should help you. With this Conad scraper I have never had to prep it ever with a file. I mean it just worked right away. When I first got it I just cleaned it with acetone on each end and it's always stamped. And you can find these on uh, Amazon.com. It, it comes with a metal scraper and they're I believe five dollars and something. Um, so I think that's a good deal. It's a real Conad brand stamper, and I highly recommend it. It's the only one I use. And also, I learned from Janice from Love and Beauty and Style is you can use a, a lint um, wiper. Sticky sheets that you use to take fuzz off your clothing or dog hairs or stuff like that. Um, Instead of using acetone on your stamper every time you need to clean it, because they say that um, the acetone can ruin the um, rubber surface of your stamper after a while. So, I mean, I, I haven't had that problem yet, but ever since I saw this technique with the, um, the lint, the sticky lint roller, 
from Janus. I've used it ever since. You have, whenever you have an image and you're done stamping and you've used what you needed on your nail, you just take the stamper and just roll it onto the lint roller sticky surface and it'll take off your excess and you're ready to stamp again. You can see right here where I have used the lint roller by just, um, you know, just taking off the excess stamping that I didn't use and that cleans it really well. That's a great idea from Janice. Thanks Janice. <laughs> you want to have a good stamper. A really good stamper and to me this by far is the best stamper out there it's from the Conad brand and and if you just take care of it and use the lint roller for cleaning after each stamp um, and try to use acetone minimally then I think you're gonna have no problem and, and these lint free wipes are nothing special nothing more than um, paper towels cut into squares that's it so um, I cut those up a lot saves money and they work just as well and then again when you practice stamps again use a Ziploc freezer bag with a white sheet of paper inside of it just paint on some nail polish colored squares and just start practicing practicing your design that you want to do your color co combinations you know it's it's easy everyone has Ziploc freezer bags they're cheap everybody has white paper um, if you have artificial nails to, that you want to stamp on that's fine too if you want to practice on your own nails that's fine as well so look for the next video tips and tricks okay I got some really good ones. So anyways, thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.